fish on. Oh yeah. All right, so what we got here is a classic pompano setup, three hooks, three hook uh, rig, barrel swivel at the bottom with an interlock clip for the sinker, barrel swivel on the top. Gives you three hooks, three baits, and uh, a weight at the bottom just to secure that on the bottom of the, of the uh, sand. So this is for fishing off the beach. Fishing in the surf. And I'm going to show you just how to tie this kind of rig. Real easy, real simple. Um, Let's put that aside. You can do it with two different uh, lines. I like to use a 20 pound test on my on my leaders. Uh, I must tell you that I have a very good buddy here in the in the complex that shows me how to uh, do these do these rigs. So what I do is I start off by putting a little knot just in the bottom of my of my line. Tie a little knot. Trim off the little tail there it's my glasses on and then I want to go about 10 inches and I tie another knot the purpose of this little knot here is just to stop your loop so each of your hooks is on a little loop and you want to stop this loop from sliding in and becoming nothing you know eventually you'll be left with nothing so you want to keep this at about four or five inches long so let's get rid of that so that's the purpose of that little knot so I take that knot in my fingers and I pull out about yeah four or five inches of of line make it into a loop and now I take that and I Put my finger through and I just twist it and pull the loop through that like that and the knot will close right on the knot that I created in the line and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a tug just to make sure that it's not sliding and there I have my first loop all right so we're going to go 10 inches further on now it doesn't have to be 10 inches. I know there's somebody out there right now with a tape measure and you're measuring of 10 inches. You can do that, that's fine, but it's it's not important. As long as your your hooks are not touching each other. In fact, we'll we'll take this one down to about eight or nine inches. Put my knot in. Okay, now I'm gonna go through this slowly. So there's my knot. Take pinch it in between my fingers and pull out the loop. The picture's gone off. It's fine. It's still recording. So let's do it again. So I take the knot in my, in my, between my thumb and my forefinger. I pull out the loop to about four or five inches. Take it with my other hand. And finger goes through. And give it a double twist. And I'm going to pull the loop through there. And we're going to close that onto the knot. Okay, so this one, let's get it. Pull it together to the knot. <coughs> We're gonna give it a, a test just to make sure that it's tight. So I've got two loops right now, 10 inches apart. Let's give this one a good tug. Again, 10 inches. When you get to the third knot, you've got to put all these, pull all these loops through your, uh, the loop that you made for your knot, so sometimes it gets a bit tangled up, but anyway, there we go. And don't want to make it too long, let's bring it back a little bit. We've got about, we've got about 10 inches there again. Got my knot between my thumb and forefinger. Okay, so. <clears throat> 
twist it around like that. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out the loop to four or five inches. I'm going to take it and dub I double my loop back on my line. My other, my other forefinger is protruding through there and I just take it and give it a double twist, put that loop through and I pull the knot closed onto the little knot that I made in the line. And I'm gonna give it a tug just to make sure it's good. And then a little bit of a lead line, also about 10 inches for the swivel. Cut that off, make a little knot in the end of that line, like that. So now I want to take a barrel swivel and this is where my line from my my fishing pole is going to attach to. Doesn't matter which side you take it, so put it through there just with a classic a classic double twist knot once, twice through the loop at the bottom. I hold on I hold on to the little knot and I just pull that and then I tug it so that the knot tightens up right against the loops and you've got a good knot that's not going to come loose no matter what the size fish. This is 20 pound test line and you've got to, you can take a big fish to pull that off. <clears throat> Again, on the other end we have a knot. Let's trim the tail and I'm going to take one of my swivels um, with the interlock snap for the, for the sinker. Let's stick that through there. And again, just a classic double twist and through the loop, put it tight, give it a tug, and it ain't coming off. <laughs> so now I've got my rig prepped. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to attach the hooks. But before we put the hooks on, these fish that we are catching the pompano and black drum specifically here off the off the beach are eating the little baby clams baby mussels the little little white mussels on the on the sand and so we want to mimic those colors to just add to the attraction you can just put a, a bear hook on there and throw it out with a bit of bait and you're going to catch a fish but to optimize your fishing you want to mimic the colors of the food that they're eating. So we took this fish, we cut it open, we opened up the gut, and this is the this is the gut. And this is kind of gross, but if you see what this pompano has been eating is little mussels, little tiny baby mussels. So when we tie the rigs, we try to imitate the colors on these, and they like the pink for some reason. They like to go for the kind of the pinky colors. So that's what they're picking up off the ground. So that's why we, that's what, that's why we put the colours, uh, the coloured beads on on our rigs. All these little baby mussels. See that? It's gross, but it's that's why we do it. So the colours of those little clams and mussels. I just went to Michael's, got myself a box of little coloured beads, and. I found that different colors work better for different fish. So let's do, first of all, let's tie up a rig for pompano. Although the season is about died off, the pompano have gone north looking for some colder water. But pompano like pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make up a, a pink rig here. So I take this, I take my loop. That I, that I tied in my line. That's the loop. I bring it together, squeeze it just so that I can push it through the, the hole in the bead. And I put on a little red bead there. And I'm going to make, uh, I'm gonna just put a little white see-through, oops, just to add to this one. You can do two beads, um, and I'm going to put a light pink on the bottom here. 
So you can put any number of combinations. You can mix it with black. You can maybe uh, put a purple. Purple always looks good because it, it mimics the, uh, the colors of the clams. And so now I'm going to take, and on this rig, I'm, for Pompano, I'm going to use a 2.0 uh, hook. I, I use a 2.03 uh, for Pompano. And um, I'm just going to put a 2.0 on you. And it's not to say you're not going to catch a drum on this. Um, many, many times you will pick up anything here on the beach. But this is basically what we call our Pompano rig. So I'm just going to thread that loop through the hole in the hook. And then I just push the hook in through the loop and pull it tight. So basically I got my hook on the end of this loop. Let's push it out again just to so we can see how, it, how the whole thing works. So the loop comes up there and we got the hook attached to the loop. Those three colors will hang down and that will be my bait. I'll put a little bit of prawn on there, a little frozen shrimp and that'll do the trick. All right, so we're gonna repeat that. I, I, I keep my rigs the same color um, not for any other reason than to know which colors are working best at whatever time. So we started off here with a dark pink. And then I did a little transparent one just to add a little bit of bling. Now, of course, you've got to find the hole. There it is. I pop that through and then I did a light one. So I'm doing exactly the same as the first. Got that through there. I got my 2 0 hook and squeeze that through the eye of the hook. Bring the hook up through the, the loop, pull it tight. There we got two, and let's just nail the third one here. Like that. And there we have the classic Pompano setup. You can shorten any of these lengths all you don't want to do you just don't want this hook to be hooking into that loop there so you can just keep that above there and you can shorten the sinker i like to keep my sinker away from my hook so that the hooks can float We're back from the beach. We're gonna take a look at our catch. Got one nice black drum, a couple big pompano, and four or five whiting. Was that four whiting? Yeah, some real nice one, ones. One, two, look at three, that one. four, five, six, seven pompano, and one black drum. Nice. So hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some more of our videos. Later.